So in today's video, I will go over all the steps on how to create this style of image sampler. Um, so what I did is create two sets of points, bring them all together, and our threshold happens here, where we can increase or decrease our um, contrast of the image. Okay, so to start, I will use a rectangle and this will give me a guideline as to where to create the image sampler. I'm going to make it 100 by 100. And first, the pattern that we're going to create is going to be our hexagonal one because the Voronoi uh, random points are pretty easy. So we'll just go to rectangle here. And you are going to need lunchbox for this, so download it in Food for Rhino. But we go hexagonal cells and we'll plug the rectangle into the surface. And what we are going to use are these center points, right? So I'll go ahead and bring in a Voronoi. This is Voronoi 2D. What I'll do is I'll plug in the centers into the points. But notice that it actually gives us uh, a diagonal grid, right? The other thing is the boundary is we can use the rectangle for the boundary and it'll actually crop it right there for this. Now that's not the amount of subdivisions that we want and the trick that I found is to create a subdivision in the U and the V that is not one to one. So right now if it's 10 to 10 but I figured out that if you do 10 up here which keeps it the same and then we do 17 we get a hexagonal why because it squishes it and it creates a triangular point system that is what will give us our hexagonal Voronoi right so with that being said we can take this and so we can increase the number of divisions. We'll do it this way. 10 multiplied by 1.7. We'll bring in a multiplication. 10 times 1.7. 10 goes up the, uh, the U and 1.7, which gives us 17, goes in the V. Now you can still play around with this and get different um, patterns, I guess, but 1.7 is what gets you the hexagons. With that being said, these points become our points that we're going to use on our image sampler. Now, one of the reasons why I like to use a rectangle and then apply a subdivision to it is because now with 10, well, I'm kind of constrained at 10 being the max, but let's say if I went here to 200, I can go ahead and subdivide this further more and more. So that creates a higher density. And this is the grid that's the grid points that are going to go in the background. So let's go ahead and take these points and bring in the image sampler. So with this image sampler, the important thing to do is to change it to color brightness and interpolate. And then domain X will go 100 and domain Y 100. And that's gonna match the size of our rectangle here. Then for file path, we're gonna go double click there. And now you're gonna try to find a picture now it is a one-to-one -one aspect ratio so I took this image and I cropped it down to a perfect square um, but if you do know the aspect ratio you would need to change the X and Y domain and you would also need to change the scale on the rectangle there but once you have that we'll hit open okay we'll hit okay now we can get ready to take the image sampler and turn all of these points into a set of values coming out here. Now 
And so this list of numbers gives us a bunch of values and they're really small. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. And let's take this and let's take this and remap the numbers so we can create a maximum and minimum value. So what we'll do is we plug in the value at the top in the source or in the value. Then in the source, we're going to plug in our bounds, which gives us our maximum and minimum. And then we're going to uh, construct the domain. Oh, wrong one. And this will give us our max and minimum. So let's go ahead and go 1.0000 for our numbers. So if we were to, let's see here, bring in some circles and plug in the points into the plane and in the radius, plug in this one, we start seeing that we have something closer to our image. Now we can increase and decrease our density here with this slider. And so that's one of the things that I like about using a rectangle for subdivisions. Now we can take here the values and we're seeing, I'm seeing here that I actually have it the opposite, right? The light values, which are the white ones, are going to be the small ones. So I'll change that around, change this to one. Maybe one is a little bit too big. Let's decrease this a little bit too. There we go. Cool. So even that looks really cool, but one of the things that would be nice is to take the white ones, the small ones, and get rid of them to create the hexagonal hexagonal pattern on just the outside. So let's go ahead and take these circles, get rid of them. And now we're going to get do a mathematical equation here, go to math, and we're going to go to greater than. So now it's going to take all of these numbers and anything greater than. So actually here, the map numbers go here. And then in the second number is going to be the number, the number to cut off the small numbers. It's going to be this one. Then we'll go here to sets, call pattern. And this is going to be the one that's going to actually remove the points. So I'll go here to the points, plug them into the list and then call pattern, go larger than into this one. And as you can see, we have all the points showing up here and there's some that are not showing up. So cool, we already got something going. Then I'll copy a slider here. And this is what's going to cut off the small numbers. So anything smaller than 0 0.3, 0 0.4 are actually going to be removed. And so this will give us our outside dark pattern as ma like matching exactly the image here. Then we're going to do the exact opposite to the next pattern to get exactly what we took away from this one. Okay, so now that we have this, we basically have most of the work done because the other one's just going to use the exact same parameters just with a different pattern. Now the pattern on the white area is going to be Voronoi so it'll um, well all of it's going to be Voronoi but this is going to be random points so this is where we'll actually go here to I'll delete this I'll go here to the rectangle and I'll bring in go into vector bring in populate 2d and I'll populate this rectangle with a hundred points with these points, we're actually going to do the exact same thing, but instead of greater than, we're going to use less than. So I'll take all of this, copy it down. I slide it down and hold down Alt. And I'll plug in these points into the population there. And notice that now, if I remove this, 
we have these these points and actually hide this one I have these points that are coinciding with the dark area now to do that change that is less than well let's go to math smaller than plug in that number plug in this one and now plug this one into that one and now basically doing the opposite so if we take that set of points and I'll actually disable the preview and put those points together using this points component you'll see that now we are I'm going to actually move this here and use the same set of values for both so we don't get, get rid of the redundancy here cool so now we basically have this set of points and we with this slider which is going to be our second number for our uh, minimum and maximum and we can remove points where at zero you have all of them and here you have none of the, the dark ones so this is all dark all light so somewhere in between is where we can figure out a good set of points and now with this one we can actually go to our mesh or I plug in our points disable the preview here and in the boundary we'll use the same rectangle this basically gives us that similar look uh, as the other one that I had but I just wanted to show you all the steps now there's a bunch of other things that we can do here we can further increase density giving us a better image quality so the more dense the background image is and it looks a lot better and we can also increase our points in our count here so right now I have it at 100 we can change that to like 150 and you know further subdivide the light area now you don't want to increase these points too much because once you do that it'll actually make it so it doesn't look as good but just wanted to share those those steps uh, so if you have any questions make sure to let me know in the comments